Hey guys, this is PK for AtomicZebra.com and today we're going to talk about practice. How to practice magic at home. There are a lot of different ideas, of course, besides just the regular practice until you get it right. Going beyond that, a lot of people say practice until you can't get it wrong. And yeah, there's a lot of ways to say it, say practice a lot. I have a different idea about practicing, which I want to share with you. It's what I call a shadow performing. I think uh, I'll explain. So let's think about this. You have a card, right? You have a card and you bury that card in the deck and you snap and your card comes to the top. Yeah, right? This I did with a slight, right? Now let's say I'm not doing the slight, okay? I'm just showing you a card and if it's buried inside the deck, like that, I snap and the card comes to the top. Now it's not, it didn't come to the top, of course, because I actually did put it in and not do any slights, right? Uh, but the thing is, those two performances, the one that I did with the slide and the one that I did without the slide, should look the same. And it should have a level of naturalness that the one that I'm doing without the slide has. The natural and casual feel to it should be the same. That's what I mean by shadow performing, okay? I think a great way to perform and a great way to get your patter down, your performance down, your uh, body language down, everything, I think a great way to get into that and see what mannerisms your natural body language shows is to shadow perform. Let's say you're doing whatever move, okay? Let's say you're doing packet trick and you're doing like uh, stuff like yeah and yeah. Try to do it with as minimum moves as possible. Not even doing, try not to do any moves is what I suggest. See how you look when you're doing it and see if anything is odd. See if you're saying anything uh, that seems weird and just imagine to yourself that that card actually changed, right? Like just if that card changes into whatever card, all right? So just practice without actually doing the magic, okay? So it should look like something like this, for example. Let's say you wanna change that card into that, right? Don't actually try to do the move yet. Just do this. All right, I'll leave that card over there. If I wave my hand over the card, snap, blow on it, all kinds of stuff. Then your card has changed, okay? Of course, that's way too much talking for that, but. And I don't even say I'll leave that card over there. I'll say, um, so we'll take this card and if I, so I don't even say leave it there. I just say take this card and that's it. But anyways, that's for a different video. I talked about pattern in another video. Go check it out. You know, when you're doing this, if you think about the moves, you might fumble and it won't turn out as smoothly. So just, just you know, just go with it and the magic isn't happening yet, but just act like it is and you will get your natural timing. That will become your frame of reference that you want to reach when you are doing the trick with the moves. Do you understand that? I hope you do because I think this is a great way to do it because I've been doing this. I've been doing this for a pretty long time because if I have a new move, if I have a new trick especially, um, if I make a new trick, I try to see what it would look like when I'm not doing the moves. Even, even for moves, you need to see what it should look like when you're not doing the move and have it look the same, all right? That's what I mean when um, your doubles should look like singles and your singles should look like doubles. A lot of people say that, but a lot of people forget about it and their doubles look like doubles and their singles look like singles. No, I don't think that's a good idea at all, all right? They should look the same. That is how you flip over a card. That's always how you flip over a card. It shouldn't look drastically different. That is not a very good idea. Um, so, after realizing that the doubles and singles should look the same, I sort of thought, well, maybe if I start doing it for all my routines and see how it looks. So I just started doing it. Like, I was not very happy that none of the magic was happening because magic excites me as well, but I sort of could see 
what I've been doing. And I sort of know now uh, that what parts of my pattern was bad or not. And, and it, it really helps me. It really helps. Uh, if you have a new routine, make sure it looks like what it should look like. So if you're, uh, we'll just go with the easiest example. If you're doing the ambitious, don't do any of the moves. Just act to yourself like it's actually happening. Just imagine it actually happening and see what you do when you're doing the ambitious. And I think uh, once you know what you should look like naturally, doing the moves and trying to make it look the same will help a lot. Let me know what you think about these ideas. Of course, you know how to use YouTube. Comment, subscribe for more videos, of course. And maybe I'll see you in the next video. All right, have fun practicing.